Hello guys, welcome to another uh, FU Money and today I promise this will be a, a quicker video uh, let me just address a few comments uh, from the previous one, the episode 16 uh, so user xxx uh, says that I'm shaking a lot so yeah, I um, sometimes I just shake my legs a bit and it seems like I'm shaking my whole body on uh, body on the videos thank you for uh, um, pointing that out I will try to improve on that um, again we have a comment from our loyal follower Kapka Filipova saying great analysis uh, thank you I was hoping for a bigger retrace this morning but looks like we we're headed to new highs let's see how we close the day uh, yep also yesterday I was uh, tweeting about two hours before the uh, I will get to that I will show you the tweet but I was tweeting about uh, two hours before the uh, small breakout that we had uh, so thank you again um, Kapka for um, watching the videos and being a follower of the channel also weight matter and this is a portuguese message here i i i will not read it because it contains a bit of personal information but i would like to tell uh our friend weight matter uh never uh you know never publicly disclose your absolute results so never say how much you won in absolute numbers like 100 euros, 1000 euros, 10,000 euros. You can, you should always, um, if you want to comment publicly on your gains, use percentages and never disclose the absolute numbers. This is just a piece of advice because uh, you should never uh, release that information in a public way. And last but not least, uh, Nicolas Villagra. Uh, thank you, Hugo. Love to find in the first minutes the answers about BitMax uh, thing. I got the feeling that today is not the first time that you mentioned it on Twitter. Yep. So basically, this is a recurrent uh, uh, situation. People always ask me the same stuff on Twitter. Uh, every day I get questions about how the BitMax funding rate correlates to the price action. I've already explained it in previous videos, so please people just subscribe to the channel, um, watch the videos, I explain everything in detail, uh, things that I usually tweet about, but as Twitter doesn't allow you very long texts, uh, so I just mention some stuff and then I talk about them in the video uh, in more detail. So again, if you, wanna, if you want to understand why I think there's a big correlation between the BitMEX funding rate or any other funding rate uh, for that matter. Um, I believe there is a big correlation between higher funding rate percentage with reversal or um, opposite direction price action because this is something that from my personal experience analyzing the charts and the markets I noticed and many other uh, many other traders also noticed the same thing like Tone Vase for example he also considers BitMEX funding rate very important when al analyzing charts um, so from that experience we believe there is an inverse correlation between higher funding rate on BitMEX and um, price action going lower or even the BitMEX funding rate triggering a reversal on the price action. Uh, this was explained in detail on my previous video, I think uh, episode 16. Also in a few videos before that one, I also explained why I consider that a very good uh, indicator for market sentiment. So please just watch the videos uh, so I don't have to answer the same question every day on Twitter. And I hope you get all the explanations you need however if you want something addressed on the videos just comment below i guarantee i read all the comments uh, at least for now um, i'm sure if i have one 100 000 subscribers commenting on my videos of course i will not be able to read all the comments but as we are uh, still a small community uh, at this point i am able to read all the comments and answer 
writing uh, just a reply on the comment or even addressing your comment on the videos so everything works fine okay so uh let's go to the charts i don't want to make a very long video today hmm. one second okay here is the screen share so let's as usual start with the price to time model and see where we are in the longer time frame so right now we are uh we are about to touch the exponential curve again uh, this weekly candle is uh, going up um but we are still on the lower side of the curve so for me there's not a big issue here we are sustainable and healthy with the price action and everything should be fine at least for a few more days maybe one week or two but if we cross the uh, exponential curve here to the upper side you know already what i think about that i think that could trigger a correction or a retracement and we could come back again uh, to the lower side of the curve okay so price to time model is done let's move on to the let's not see the monthly chart because there is not a big change since our last few videos let's go directly to the weekly chart uh, everything remains the same also the price action continues to be a bit above the 59,000 as I described uh, in my previous video this is a very good signal uh, we should close this weekly candle uh, in two days, uh, for Saturday, yeah, in two days, which two days and a few hours, we should close this candle above the 59,000, above this red line that I have uh, plotted here. So let's see where we are right now. We are above the red line. As you can see, the candle is trading above around 59,150. So if we are able to close this weekly candle in two days and a few hours above the 59,000, that is our highest close ever on bit weekly close ever on uh, Bitcoin. And that would be a very bullish uh, sign to me so i would i would keep an eye on this candle until the end of the week and see what happens uh, the rsi divergence continues to be here although the rsi is turning up again on the weekly chart so that's a good uh, sign also the macd continues to be almost the same as in previous videos <coughs> sorry we are not going to address that right now the Fisher distance from the EMA is also very neutral, very close to zero. So we are not deviating too much from the mean. And that's it for the weekly chart. Let's go directly to the daily chart. Daily chart is forming this structure. I don't like it. I don't like this structure. We are going up and now we are finding some resistance above the 59,000 this resistance area is uh, becoming strong we are having a strong accumulation if you remember from a previous video this area here was much smaller so we are increasing the volume by price which means we are forming a very uh, strong resistance and strong support depending on where we come from so if we are able to cross the 59 and a half or even 60,000 to the upside, this will become strong support. However, for now, this is a strong resistance that is uh, sending us down all the time. Uh, also, we have an MRI warning on this daily candle, which means that tomorrow we will have an MRI top unless the count is reset. And for that to happen, we would have to close this candle below 57,300. Yeah, and 57,500. So if we close that candle 
below the 57500 i believe the count is reset one two three four no actually no we would have to close the candle below 55 and 600 around that so that the count would be reset so in any case i believe that tomorrow we will have a daily mri top which could indicate a new reversal to the downside and probably we could even uh, touch the 50 period moving average so the current structure for the daily chart is not very um it doesn't look very good however let's see how this resistance will behave and if we can uh, cross the resistance to the upside uh, so tomorrow we will have a nine candle and an mri top as i said before i don't like however i don't like the complete structure of this reversal to the upside it's it's forming like a roof top here the price is not being able to cross it to the upside unless we could be having something similar to what happened here when we had also an mri top on the daily we were supposed to go down we had a lot of resistance in these two candles even an extension a coming from the previous mri top but however on this uh, third candle after the mri top we had a big breakout to the upside and bitcoin did not care anything about the mri so if we are mirroring this kind of um, action price action after an mri top we could have an mri top here tomorrow then probably one two more candles of resistance and uh, higher volatility a bit more volatility than before we could go up and down for two candles and then finally have a breakout to the upside and not giving a damn about the mri top which bitcoin sometimes likes to uh, show us that who is in charge and i hope that is the case um the volume continues to go down which i find very very strange because uh, this complete action to the upside um, it's not supported by the volume itself uh, the rsi is becoming neutral just going sideways however the macd is uh, showing signs of becoming bullish which goes against the possibility of a retracement here uh the funding rate on bitmax is a bit overextended but we will analyze it on uh, lower time frames and the uh, fissure distance from the ema is again going up deviating from the mean a bit so let's go to the four hour chart so as you can see since our last uh reversal down here we had a uh, very good support from uh, at least on the four hour chart we had good support from the 20 uh, period moving average always supporting the price to the upside we found support here and the bit here and again here with a touch and uh, uh, here we had the cr cross of the week uh, below the moving average however the price uh, reversed uh, nicely to the upside and then again has been supporting for the last few candles has been supporting the price which is becoming a squeeze and i hope the squeeze will break out to the upside as i tweeted yesterday be just before this candle here uh, let me show you guys <coughs> my tweet from yesterday Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Here it is. So I tweeted about twelve hours ago. So this is now. Let me just check. This is now uh, three thirty, around three thirty p.m. Uh, Portuguese time. Uh, so twelve hours ago this was about uh, 3 a.m three and a half a.m in portugal in, in portugal and just a few hours after that 
we had a small breakout, uh, which I believe will become a bigger breakout soon. And I tweeted about that. I was already checking the price uh, squeeze on the charts and I saw that this would happen. So basically, I was warning people already uh, that a breakout was imminent and it happened. Um, so I like I like to show this so that um, uh, people see that I'm not I'm always trying to I'm always trying to warn everyone and give them some hints in advance so that you can take actions of course so here is the breakout I was talking about on my tweet however we did not go far above the 60,000 price level and we came back down to find support again on this 59,000 line which is the red uh, the red line here so i hope that this retracement will find support from the 59,000 now which is this big area of volume by price and we find support on that and also from the 20 period moving average that is already reaching the same level also the macd was indicated if you saw it on the previous chart the daily chart was a bit more bullish than this one this one is very neutral we are just going sideways uh, although the blue line is below the orange line so that's not very bullish but the macd itself and the bars are you know just a bit red but not so extended so we are just going sideways and i believe if you consider the macd from the daily chart which is a, a bit more bullish than this one also with the fact that we are finding support on the 59,000 and the 20 uh, period moving average this could mean that we could find support here and probably uh, when in some time maybe one or two more candles we could see some price action to the upside okay so the bitmax uh, funding rate was overextended in my opinion but we will move just to the one hour chart and analyze the bitmax funding rate and uh, just a small hint here for the chart itself so we found support on the 50 period moving average on the one hour which is the yellow line and we are now probably forming a reversal pattern here we could go up again uh so let's see what happens because the bitmax funding rate is uh very low as compared to the previous hours so this is what i wanted to show you guys the bitmax funding rate as soon as we started the breakout we went to the 60 uh, almost 60,100. however if you see on the one hour the bitmax funding rate exploded to the upside uh, from a level of 0 0.11 exactly my threshold here on the previous bar and we picked around around 0 0.30 so this was like three times more than the previous bar which obviously stopped this breakout to reach higher levels so this is the correlation that i find in bitmax funding rate with the price action uh, many people ask me about this and as you can see from that hourly peak on the 0 0.30 we have been coming down and five hours ago this was 0 0.20 21 and then we came back down below the 0 0.11 again which triggered a small reversal again to the upside however now uh, we are experiencing some continuous action to the downside and found support on the 50 period moving average on the one hour so the rsi is completely neutral here but i like to see the rsi in higher time frames like the weekly daily and uh, at least four hours the macd also for the hourly it's not very relevant to me but the one hour is very relevant to see the bitmax funding rate so that's why i always come to the one hour chart so past that let's just go quickly to the pro indicators so we are probably if we continue going to the downside we are not being able to cross uh, the third range boundary breakout line 
which would send us to the upside and possibly to the low 70s uh, I, I was expecting a new trend a new trend so I was expecting that sooner or later we are going to break this uh, third third range boundary breakout line which is the orange dashed line here which is on the 61, $61,700. I was expecting the price action to at least come closer to that breakout line, probably retrace a bit, then going back up and finally breaking this line to the upside, giving us a new trend that could take Bitcoin price to the low 70s, uh, seventy thousand dollars. So we are, however, retracing a bit now. We are not still confirmed that this is a new range boundary here because this is a dashed line. Let's see what happens in the next few hours or days. But I don't believe that we could have this. Uh, retracement before we at least try to break this line so the structure here for the momentum uh, and the sine wave is actually this is as you can see we have a, a squeeze alert this is very important it's not very often that you see that so if you analyze the oscillators of the pro indicators we are now in squeeze mode so this means that the price is being squeezed between uh, several factors one of them is of course the you know the moving averages are uh, getting close to the price action uh, acting as support and trying to uh, move the price up the bitmax funding rate is very high as soon as we cross the 60,000 line to the upside uh, so making the price action wanting to go down so we have a lot of factors here that uh, just initiated this squeeze alert on the indicator which is the purple area so as you can see we have bullish structure and we have bearish structure coming together and squeezing the price i believe that this will uh, as in previous um, times when we had a squeeze alert move the price up and probably start a new trend so i believe this could be a small retracement the squeeze of the price could take us to break the third range boundary breakout line at the 61700 and probably we could start a new trend taking us higher to the 70s so this is uh, okay for now i uh, have um i have analyzed all the charts let me just move back to stop the screen share so if you enjoy this content i hope uh, i hope uh, my analysis of today gave you a hint of what could come next probabilities at least uh, if you enjoy the content smash the like button subscribe to the channel if you are new and share it with your friends let's grow the community and i will see you all on the next one bye bye